tell me you wouldn't do the same? It's kill or be killed around here, don't you know that? Quiet. Just keep walking. This audio drama takes place within the world of the Division, um, but it's not any of the characters from the game that are the central characters of this story. We can't just walk away from our mission. I don't think that the Division would approve. And for me, I, I, got, I saw a lot of opportunities in the story to like create some characters that you don't maybe get a perspective of. Now, again. That you see in the video game side. So it was really fun to, to see a different side of the world and illustrate something that uh, maybe wasn't as big of a focus on in the game. I play Melanie Hoskins, who is a uh, paramedic with the fire department in New York City. What happened to this place? And she gets recruited by Agent Shu, who is in the division. And the division is a group of, I'm just gonna call them secret agents. Do I even wanna know? <laughs> that are tasked with, um, if everything else falls apart, the division gets called. Agent down! Repeat, agent down at my location! The character I'm playing is Agent Jason Shu. He is a senior agent. He trains the protagonist, uh, Hoskins. Seems like you might be a little bit sick. Well, I've got just the thing for that. So I play Johanna, um, who is Hoskins' sister. I trusted you. And Johanna is a army veteran who is now living in New York and was rejected by the division when she Ready? was essentially auditioned. And as the virus starts to spread, she becomes fixated on wanting to save the city. And in this delusional savior complex starts uh, really hurting people. Pretty soon they're gonna start injecting us with all kinds of shit and you've got no idea where it comes from. It doesn't- So this story is a little interesting in that we were, we started the process of doing this actually right before the pandemic. And it is a story about an, an outbreak uh, so all the things we have to consider in the story, we have to consider outside the story. Uh, I like to try and get everyone in the room as much as possible. And we're very limited in how many people we can get in here at the same time to interact with each other. I think that audiences are really going to enjoy listening to something that uh, they feel that they've actually been through. I think it's underscored the importance of human connection. By Jamie, I should have been here. So one of the things that I really wanted to focus on with Hearts on Fire was the interpersonal conflicts. Like, you have someone who has to be an agent, but they also have to be a civilian at the same time. Uh, and for me, I was a, used to be a reservist, so it's like that split of a citizen soldier. I don't know. The drama in and of itself, this story is quite physical. There's a lot of action sequences and stuff like that. And um, luckily my video game experience plays into uh, knowing what all those noises sound like, so it's not too foreign to me. Ah, don't move an inch. So for us to create the action in an audio only environment, we really have to uh, kind of unleash our actors and have them give us the full performance of what they're doing. We need to get all the grunts, all the little movements that they do have to be accented in some way to help better illustrate it. Uh, so if they're climbing on a ladder, they got to give us the efforts of going through there. Or if they're down on the muck, it really, Anything that, that gives us that sort of feeling that they're in that space and that time is something that we try and uh, re-illustrate in front of the microphone so that we can recreate it in an audio environment. Doing voice work is always so interesting, especially voice work when it's it's like this. And I've had the, the joy of doing a few video games in my time. And so the noises that come out of your mouth sometimes are very, very interesting. Um, for this one, I think that I, I've never been strangled on like my voice before. So that was like, I had to pass out. That's one of the hardest things. But one of the hardest noises to try and figure out is the kickback of a gun. So fans of The Division, you guys are in for a treat. Um, I cannot wait for you to listen to this because I think that you are going to be very, very, very happy. That is a wrap on Katie Sack. What the heck? I know. I to all the fans of the Division game, I think you're gonna be happy with this. We are definitely working hard to make you proud, but with the scripts, with the team that's involved, I really I really think this is something to be excited about. See, I work in uh, another agency, you could say. 
One that's always on the lookout for qualified individuals, like yourself. <laughs> <laughs>